Hey crew, welcome back. My name is Sydney Lai, and today we are going to do a pretty quick and short walkthrough of a Slack integration and out systems, but specifically focus on understanding the logic flow. So this isn't a beginning to end on how to build a Slack integration or really how to integrate, but it's actually understanding the logic flow just because it's actually pretty straightforward in terms of how you integrate and I'll, I'll showcase that pretty quickly. Um, as a reminder, I am a developer advocate here. I really provide tools and tutorials and a just a fun way to understand how devs can build web and mobile applications. And this conversation today really came about um, when I was talking to a software engineer at Slack. I'm a, I'm a podcast host, so I was able to interview Justin and he explained and showed how, how Slack was made why Slack was made and, and some of these scaling challenges, localization, um, like localization challenges as well as, as you continue to grow Slack and, and really even as a tool for developers, right? So like I said, today's focus is just very purely on understanding the logic flow itself. Um, if you'd like more help, if you'd like more videos in terms of understanding, definitely remember to hit subscribe uh, because my friends, Andrew, Krish, they're creating just additional videos on how to build different demos as well, different tutorials as well. And if, you know, if you just think like this is awesome, our crew and team is awesome, definitely hit like because this helps us grow. This helps us reach other devs as well. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really, it, I, I don't know. I guess it's, I don't ask for much. I don't, I don't really ask for much, but just you know, give us a thank you and let's hang out, right? So today we're going to do a really easy integration. It's going to be an issue tracker. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty typical, right? Like if you have an issue tracker, you want to be able to tell your Slack, your team, like, Hey, you got a new ticket coming in. So I would say once you have the ID open, right? So when you have out systems, just go find the template, use the issue tracker. It's pretty straightforward. Then you go to Forge, which is our repo, you type in Slack, and then you want to use the Slack integration by Jeremy. That one's uh, pretty straightforward. I will say I do I do need to hit him up and let him know that, uh, so the way he wrote this component, the token is hard coded. So this means that you should really create a dynamic token that allows posts and various other channels. Um, I mean, this, is, this works perfectly fine, but if you want a bit more versatility, I would highly recommend that. Um, I'm just, I'm just clicking, I'm just clicking everywhere. What's happening? Um, but as you can see here, like the, this is one of the channels, right? This is one of the channels that it'll go into. If you want it in multiple channels, if you want it in multiple channels, then you want that token to be dynamic. I'll also show you really quick in terms of what that looks like here, right? So I've already highlighted this. It's this is this is the specific token that you'll find um, in your API dashboard. So that's it's gonna be very specific to just your own, right? So here's the different test APIs that I was running for this little explainer, and then you want to go into your Service Studio to also integrate the Slack component on the back end as well, right? So, okay, let's just move into the logic flow because this is what the video is about. I mean, very simply on your left-hand side, you have the logic flow. On the right-hand side is the folder structure containing the logic in the application, which means, you know, this includes the service side actions, the functions, as well as REST and SOAP integrations. And I'm going to, just zoom in a little bit more. I know it's, I hope the screen isn't, uh, font isn't too small, but here you're gonna start, right? And when you start, it's the start of the logic flow. The user is going to assign a ticket. So assign right here, you're gonna assign missing fields. You're gonna have, and I'm gonna show you this in just a moment. Um, after the ticket is created, the server action or the action that runs the logic on the server side is going to assign a ticket ID and a ticket is created. That's pretty simple. And the request is then sent to Slack. If you see here, the request is then sent to Slack. When you 
actually do the integration, the two main things that you want to also include and route yourself in the if statement is the server action for a ticket creation and then a post message in Slack. This here, you'll see the local, the local variable for a request. And once that's done, then you'll be able to see it in your Slack, pretty straightforward. I can also show you here, um, right? So here is the issue tracker. I'm gonna create a ticket. And then we're just gonna do a, hey friends, in the subject line, hey friends, what's up? I'm going to send this, or the requester is Amos. Um, it's gonna be a question, urgent, and I'm gonna send this to Andrea. And I'm gonna go here and create. You'll see 183 Amos. And then I'm going to find oh, my Slack, 183, that's it. I mean, like I said, pretty, pretty short video. This isn't something fancy. But uh, yeah, if you want some resources, here you go. You can you know pause the video, you can check out the links. If you need additional help, there's two ways. Number one is uh, slash community. So community, we have like 300,000 other devs. Also, I'm on there, other developer advocates are on there. If you need help answering any questions, it takes about two hours. You'll get, you'll get an answer within two hours. Um, also, a lot of other community members are answering questions. If you need to reach me directly, my DMs are open. If you need help, if you want to do a collab, like I said, definitely check out our other videos that are a lot more in depth. I have a video on building a chat bot. Um, I have a video out there. It's like building an Instagram clone. There's also Andrew walking through a MongoDB integration. So I'd, I'd recommend that. If you want to check out the podcast interview with the Slack engineer, in terms of how how that's made, you know, some of the origin stories. I'll also link that in the notes below. Thanks again for joining. We'll, you know, we'll keep making these videos different production, different production levels. This is a really easy walkthrough. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for joining. Catch you next time.